Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, we're going to look at how to hide formulas in your worksheet. You might want to hide the formulas because you don't want customers to see the calculations you're performing, for example. So I've got some calculations down here, working out the total average, the top value and the bottom value in this range of sales for each month. Now, the option to hide formulas is actually a formatting option within Excel. So we're going to need to select those cells that contain a formula and we need to open up the format cells dialog box. And the easiest way to do that is with the shortcut key control one, which will bring up this dialog box. Or if you don't like the shortcut key, you can just right click on your selection and choose format cells. Now, once you're in this dialog box, you need to hop over to the protection tab. There's an option here, hidden, which will hide your formulas. So I've ticked that and I'll click on OK. Now that attribute, the hidden attribute, doesn't come into effect until you protect the sheet. Now once I protect the sheet, it will also by default lock all of my cells. And that's quite a good idea, especially with formulas. You don't want people overwriting the formulas. But that does mean that all the other cells will also be locked. Now I don't want these cells to be locked because I want to continue to add my sales values. So I'm going to select those cells, control one, and unlock them, click on OK. And now I'm ready to protect my sheet. But to do that, I can go to the review tab on my ribbon and go to protect sheet, put in your password, which you need to repeat. And now if I select a cell with a formula in, you can see up in the formula bar, there is no formula. If I double click on the cell, I'm unable to go into the cell because it's protected. But I can add new figures for new months and it will update those formulas. If you need to unprotect your sheet, then just go back to the review tab, go to unprotect sheet, put in your password. And now you'll be able to see your formulas up on your formula bar. Another option you might consider is instead of protecting a sheet, and hiding formulas is actually to convert all your formulas to values. This might be useful if you were sending a spreadsheet to a client, and you don't want them to see the calculations you performed. Rather than sending them formulas, you can just send them the answers that the formulas give. And to do that, all you would do is you'd select all of your data and copy it, control C on your keyboard, go to the home tab of your ribbon, go to the paste button, and then choose this option here, the little clipboard with one, two, three on it. And now there are no formulas in any of your cells, only the answers that the formulas gave. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.